Hi there, we're on the Harkila stand uh, with Simon and he's going to take us a, on the guided tour through the, uh, the new range and some of the new gear for the, uh, the shooting season to come. So Simon, over to you. Good afternoon, it's been a long day, very busy shooting show as well. Um, we're on the um, uh, Simpson Brothers stand and we're bunking in with them at, uh, at the shooting show and we're showing some of the new things that are coming out in March. First thing to show you is this, which is our new Bino pouch. Um, this has gone down extremely well. We sold a lot of these to the, to the retailers. Actually, uh, first delivered in March, so it's a little early yet. But um, this is a, we've got a magnetic flap that goes over backwards, so it doesn't keep interfere with your binos. And the nice thing is it just locks down there, so even if it's windy, it's gonna stay locked down. There's plenty of room. These are a pair of binos I bought for the show. So they, these are borrowed Vortex, very nice. And they are uh, 8x42s, I think. So they fit in with a small size, but we have a separate little, can you see this little cushion that you can take out and you can fit just um, extend, extend yeah, them out to, to make them bigger. Setting. Yeah, absolutely. So you've got 10x50s, range finders, as a lot of people have got these days. They easily fit in there. I've got some 10x. Um, 50 range finders, the um, GPO ones, and they fit in there absolutely perfectly. Because this is a quite an improvement of the original version because there Much wasn't better. any extra storage, was there? So no extra magazines, storage. Magazines, anything like that, no. thermal, at least you've got somewhere to hand where you can, the, you these can store are, These it. are adjustable. They are originally designed for um, European hunting, particularly Scandinavian, so you'd put maybe tracker for your dog yeah, yeah. because your, your dog is miles away from you, not always just at your side, or your mates or whatever, GPS, that kind of thing. But you can probably fit a thermal in there as well, yeah, yeah. quite yeah. happily. I say it expands out so it doesn't wobble around, which is nice. These also come off pretty easily. Let's get this one. This has got a Molly system. And these come oh, off which comes away. like that. That's great, yeah. Then that just clicks on on these and that comes off the other side as well. So um, the jacket and trousers, that ex existing range? Is that that's existing range. There's yeah. a little, I will say there's a little place for your phone at the back as well. That's this. great. And when this is over the top, it covers all that up so it's nice and waterproof. Uh, and there is a little, uh, little nice bum bag as well, just the right sort of size and shape for a stalker. He's wearing a mountain hunter smock. This is um, a smock down to here, got a bit caught up, there we go. Um, this is part of the Mountain Hunter range that we've had for uh, some years. This is the latest version of it. The, as you can see, it's a smock. You've got a zip from the bottom um, left-hand side all the way up under the arm. So you can actually open it up and get into it really easily um, for a smock. That's the usual problem with it's, it's getting in and out it's the bloody smock thing. shuffle, yes. trying to get in and out of the damn thing. Yeah, yeah exactly. That's great, brilliant. This has got a hood as well, and that's a removable hood. Again, not a thing you find on many smocks, a removable hood. Uh, it's not unique, but, but it's, it's nice. Yeah, this is a top end, top yeah. of the line thing for us. Yeah, this yeah. is probably one of our most waterproof, breathable things. And, and Mountain Hunter suggests it's, it's for, for kit up a mountain. Yeah. So you're in extreme conditions. Um, you've got pockets at the side here, so you can get in under here, got the flap. Main, yeah, whatever main you flag, like in there, pockets, all the things, everything absolutely, you all the stuff, anything you'd come to expect you having on a smock. But the great thing about this is that this has got a mesh lining. Now, this is difficult to see maybe on camera. You can see underneath here, there's a mesh lining, and this makes it very breathable. Can you see that shiny bit there? This is reinforced, so fabric but the whole body is very breathable because this is next to the Gore-Tex lining. So you've got, not got an extra layer of fabric for the hot air, moisture, sweat to pass through. So this will keep you really dry. And I've been the using the time. Mountain Hunter series for probably about the last year or more. Yes. And, uh, especially the spring and autumn periods and summer if it's not too hot. And very breathable, very, very nice to wear extended fur. It, it, it's something that they're, they're designed for for using in a quite a high energy. Mm. If you're going to set up a, set up a high seat, just maybe this is, yeah, yeah just yeah. sit there, you're going to have to put something a bit more serious in the way of warmth yeah. underneath it. But if you're moving about, this is definitely um, something you should consider. Uh, obviously, there are trousers to match this. We've got the trousers on here. There's a shorter jacket as well. There's an intermediate hybrid jacket. There, there's, a, there's a whole range in Mountain Hunter. If you look on the uh, hikeer.com website, Mountain Hunter is a big category. We put so much effort into that range. 
uh, just to get that right because that is really seriously top of the tree for us. Um, I think the uh, top line boot and the best one that we're selling as a lace up uh, at the moment, which is this range has just come out, is the new um, Mountain Hunter uh, Ridge boot. This one is really, I wish I could show you how light this was, but if you no just way. feel the weight of that, wow. it, for a big boot, yeah, for a 10 yeah, inch yeah. boot, that is bloody light. It's incredibly light. Um, yeah. It's got a, a Vibram sole, as you can see, with a full uh, full length here. rand, although the designer calls it a mud guard. But anyway, there we are. <laughs> right. um, and uh, a PU inner sole, so that gives you good, it's, shock absorption is really good on that. The big laces to go around these super looking cleats and a really handy gator hook here that you put your gaiters on something that I hate personally and, and, and you don't see and, on, and you don't see on many boots, boots. No, it should be on, needed, yeah. on every boot really yeah, because yeah. we sell thousands of pairs of gaiters um, it is a Gore-Tex line and it uses a special Gore-Tex that we have I don't know again we could look in there and see it's grey um, and that's the uh, special uh, Gore-Tex endurance lining and so this is designed to be extra tough. I don't know any other people that use it, I don't know another brand that uses this one, mm. but it's um, been around for quite some time and it's been a, one they use for police, military, that kind yeah. of thing. And they've allowed us to use it as a stalking brand in, in this. So it's got an extra tough Gore-Tex lining so you don't put your toes through the end or anything like that, yeah. which would be really bad. Yeah, yeah. So um, this, is, this is a real step on for us, no pun intended, because it's got this special Gore-Tex lining, which yeah. we're very pleased about. And the weight of it is it's incredible, amazing, isn't it? Yeah, it yeah. really is. It's yes. you know, hard to get over on camera, but yeah. yeah. This, this is, this is, um, it really is like uh, a boot that's made in Italy as well yeah. uh, by a, a, a relatively new footwear yeah. uh, manufacturer to us we've been working with for a couple of years and we're absolutely loving his products so uh, we've got a lot more coming out we've got um, three here to show you but there's another 17 I think in the pipeline right, that, that I will be able to show you but not now it's not too today. secret yeah. so that's okay. the tall one this is its brother uh, it's in this ochre colour I've got to say once you put some um, dubbin or some um, Harkila mink oil on this it goes to a really nice tan color right it looks a bit dark at the moment but it doesn't take very long it's, this it dulls does. down uh, and this is exactly the same so this is just a seven and a half inch version uses the same uh, uh, endurance Gore-Tex lining otherwise all the features are the same this is just the shorter one and that's obviously even lighter but there's less leather it's a new buck so you don't have to polish it you just give it a squirt off with your power jet yep. power hose whatever and you're there the last one we've got here is actually the, the boot we've sold the most of. It's not a lace boot in a traditional way. It's got this U-turn system. And this you tighten clockwise, I guess, and you can see that tightening. And if you want to untighten it, you just turn it back the other way and that opens up. This is fantastically easy. Yeah. I've, I love, love these boots. They are brilliant. I use mine for everything. I got them the original sample pair and um, I've been wearing them for the last over three years and they're, they're not knackered yet, which is good because I live on a farm and they just get covered in everything. Um, this is a more standard Gore-Tex lining. It's got a Vibram sole with the latest sole pattern. And again, shock absorption and the great, still the same, incredibly lightweight incredibly yeah, lightweight yeah. It, it, almost slipper weight isn't it it's, there's it's, nothing to it, it at all there's nothing to it you just you hardly know you're wearing them mm. and to do them up i'm lazy so that, that feels ah, it's, it's that, a lazy man's boot absolutely yeah uh, and it's so quick i find that i've always forgotten something that i go out doing the chickens yeah. or whatever and they and come you in you can't go back through the kitchen no now, can you? no because i'm going to get yeah. shouted you at are, and yeah. so you just hop out of these and back in them again it's brilliant yeah. works so well uh, it really does some people have said we well, are yeah, but if i'm up the hill and this breaks yeah that that, that could be a, a problem because it's not easily repairable but it yeah. is very not difficult to do yeah. it can be repaired but believe me this is incredibly tough this is a Kevlar covered wire. It is very, very tough stuff. This yeah. doesn't just break. We've sold thousands of these and yeah, we, we have repaired some, Brilliant. but not that many. Uh, mm -hmm. And it's easy to do, something we do and turn it around again. Well, post the boots off and get them back. We look forward to the new lines if there's so yes. many in the pipeline. Yes, Sounds yes, good. there are. Yeah, very and, exciting. Uh, we'll get the, uh, the clothing and the boots yeah. all reviewed. Good. Thanks for Thank time, you very Simon. much. Cheers. All the best. Cheers.